Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Greetings, Ali Shalma here. Welcome to another video of uh, Hubson Zeno Mini Pro. And in this video, I'm just going to give you a very quick and a brief overview of the X Hubson 2 app. So, uh, quadcopter, the drone is on at the moment. Okay. And I will start recording my uh, screen right here on the phone. Give me a moment. So, I have to sync it. Let's do it right away and make a space for the app to be on the screen. So one, two, three. <laughs> okay, so this is the Hudson app right here. Right now you have a weak GPS signal and it is not allowed to take off when the drone has weak GPS signals. You will keep moving the sticks and nothing will happen. For which what you can do is go to the settings you have at one place right here in the controls, a GPS safe takeoff, okay? So if this is on, you won't be able to take off inside, indoors, you know, and if GPS signal is weak. So if you have this uh, kind of issue, if you're, if you're planning to fly indoors, you will have to turn off this option right here. So we'll come to the settings later. First, let's see, we have a GPS signals right here, then the direction like a compass and next we have the propellers on or off if motors are spinning or not if video signals right now the video is off because the quadcopter is sitting right here then we have a radio control signal satellites number of satellites battery percentage etc etc at the left side we have flight modes normal mode hyperlapse waypoint orbit following creative video line fly so only line fly mode is working in following follow me is working active track it says the feature will be available please be you know patient uh then you have orbit mode which is working creative video is not working as i just mentioned i believe uh waypoint mode is working i believe yes waypoint mission planning i have tested it i believe so waypoint mode is working okay Hyperlapse is not working as you can see. Hyperlapse says wait for it. Normal mode, of course, is working. Then down here you have the, this red uh, circle with a, you know, a line in the middle on the aircraft uh, arrow. You can use this to turn on and off the vision positioning system that is obstacle avoidance. You have to be flying. I mean, your quadcopter should be flying and only then you can actually do that, okay? Then we have um, uh, auto takeoff, and once you take off, it will turn into auto land, I believe, or return to home and land. And down here, you have a map or your camera view. And you have a speed, and you have a H and D. So these are the distance, uh, altitude, and the distance from home. All right, then you have this right here where it says 1x you have two sliders here one says 1x and one is for the gimbal going up and down or uh, pitching the gimbal up and down so now i have a 6x zoom available i cannot do it right now i have to take off in able to in, uh, in order to use it because the fpv feed is off so stay tuned for the next outdoor flight testing video where i will test the 6x zoom and record the 4k 30 fps video so you can see what it feels like to have the zoom and what kind of quality of video and images we have when it's zoomed. Then next one we have of course gimbal pitch up and down okay so it can pitch the gimbal right now it will not do. Then if you have a gimbal uh, horizon or crooked so you can just go this I have shown it in my previous night flight video you can do plus minus correction to you know adjust your horizons. Okay then down here you have uh, uh, sorry, I have to move this away. Down here you have the gallery feature, which says it was it will be available later. Come on, Hafsan, how many features are not available? You release a drone and a lot of features are not available. You know, makes people feel bad. I hope you will make it available very, very quick. Uh, quickly release the updates for all these features because we all really want to see these features in action. Then we have a photo button which will turn into video button using this. You can switch to video and uh, photo mode. Right now it's not working because the drone is not flying. When it's flying you can change. Or you can also change that by directly clicking the photo button, photo button or a video button right here on your radio control. You will have to press and hold the video button in order to switch or uh, start 
the video. In order to switch from photo to video or start recording the video, you have to press and hold the video button. If you click the, uh, uh, the uh, still shot button on your radio, it will immediately switch to still shot and take a shot. But I recommend do it again. When switching from video to pictures using the button, please click it again just in case the shot wasn't captured or make sure the shot was captured right. And then we have the camera settings where you have auto manual settings are not available at the moment. Perhaps in how many features are not available for, really. Anyway, so you have auto settings uh, at the moment on auto setting camera is doing absolutely very nice job. So I'm okay with that and most of the uh, most of the people who are going to buy this drone are not professional photographers, so, you know, they will only use auto and auto works really, really nice. But for those who really want to do uh, and get better result and really understand photography, they would love to use the manual settings. Anyway, the next here you have a photo mode, single shot, so you have a burst shooting, interval, panoramic photo, okay? Uh, sorry, and then you have jpg format or raw format that you can select but remember if you shoot raw raw format pictures right now you will not be able to use those pictures because the feature to process the pictures into editable form is not available yet look at my face so that feature will come later where the quadcopter will process the raw image into editable editable raw image that you can download and edit in Photoshop and other video uh, photo editors. So stay tuned for that. So, uh, you know, the similar settings are on a video. When your drone is in the air, you, you can switch to video and you will have similar settings, auto and manual, where you have ISO and shutter speeds. And here you will have something, you know, for video modes. And then you have uh, grid lines right here in the settings. You have grid lines you can turn on or off, okay? and or sorry i'll go back again you have remaining capacity on the card you can format the memory card people ask me how to format or erase all the files you can format the memory card right from here okay and then you have a reset camera parameters and you have a video bit rate that you can set up to 200. oh okay aircraft will shut down due to Okay, aircraft has been automatically shut down due to long period of inactivity. That is very, very nice, Absent, Very, very nice. Okay, so I'm just going to turn it on again so that we can take a look at this. Okay. Here we are in the settings. We have an aircraft parameter, units, waypoint settings. You can set default waypoint altitude max waypoint altitude, max flight route distance, max mission flight planning, dis max mission flight radius. So this flight route distance and mission flight radius, this is fencing, very, very nice. This is fencing right here when you're doing waypoint flights, okay? And then we come back to waypoint setting. You have a compass calibration, gyroscope, IMU, and horizontal cal calibration, written altitude settings, okay? You can set out oh, <laughs> two nine nine. Yeah, be careful with this slider, okay? You can set uh, whatever uh, altitude you want, maximum 500 meter allowed for return to home, okay? Return to home. Then you have a search to parking apron. This feature will be available soon. Anyway, uh, then you have auxiliary right, a light. This is what people ask me if you have option to turn it on and off, and I said so far it's automatic. You have automatic open or shut off i opened it and the light is not on okay light is not on i shut off auxiliary lights not on i will keep it automatic so then you have automatic brake or anti-wind mode when turned on the craft will gain greater wind resistance but the gimbal will be less stable hmm so better don't turn on this feature. Automatic brake is something that I've shown you that you can turn it on right from that red circle, you know, uh, from the, uh, the main screen. So this is this, then you have controls, simply as joystick settings. Okay, you can select mode one, mode two. Remote control, custom button, you can set what you want to, like exit the current mode and gimbal recovery level, okay. There's a function button right here, sorry. 
I press the picture button. There's a function button right here on the radio, okay? And then you have a GPS takeoff, which I have just explained that if you want to fly indoor, you have to turn it off, okay? Then we have FPV settings, which is FPV low latency mode. It says FPV low latency mode requires high performance for mobile devices. If the performance of mobile device is poor, it is recommended to turn it off. Well, I have a fast mobile device, so I'll keep it on. Then we have a gimbal pitching speed in the gimbal settings, um, pitching speed, gyro calibration of the gimbal. If you find that, you have to calibrate the gimbal on the ground. Uh, if you feel that gimbal or horizon is crooked, land the aircraft and do the calibration on the ground. Gimbal horizontal correction, you can do it right from here. It brings you there, okay? So back here, gimbal status says normal. Then we have map. So you have aircraft location is always shown at the center of the map, latitude, longitude settings, map type selection, Google Maps or AMAP China mainland, map mode, standard satellite on night, waypoint and mission route sampling accuracy. This you can set right here. Then we have a battery. You can see everything about the battery voltage and everything. Okay, a smart low battery return to home and slow landing. This system will automatically calculate and remind and execute the low battery return to home. So if you want your drone to return to home when battery is low after calculating properly how far you can go uh, and when you can return where is point of no return then you better keep it on so that drone can remind you that from this point on there won't be enough battery to return to home okay this is a very very nice feature you should keep it on all the time battery status normal more it says battery cycles for Oh, I have four flights on this battery. Battery code and battery version number. Then last one is general purpose. Choose a live streaming platform, YouTube. So far, we just have YouTube, okay? Uh, go back to settings. And then you have automatic screen rotation. The device title is pop up automatically after detection. Novice guide, novice guide version, aircraft serial number, remote control. That is that. Thank you very much. So that was the app, you know, <laughs> There was this guy who commented that this drone you can fly only on cloudy days, cold days, or indoors because else it will overheat on sunny days. Really, dude, I just want to ask you the name of the weed that you are smoking. You know, that sounds, because you sound amazing after smoking that weed. We really need to try that weed. So, people, the quadcopter does not overheat even if you do not put a fan on it and you leave it indoors just like this without a fan somewhere for a long period of time you will not get any overheat notification on your app i haven't got any overheat notification on my phone when the when you are flying the quad copper no matter how long you fly there will be no overheating problem and when you land you will be able to touch the heat sink properly no problems for that so those who are claiming that they know the drone overheats, I would say, get a life. This is this. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the next video where I tested the brake, obstacle avoidance braking distance at full speed. I flew it at full speed into an object. And what happened? I don't want to tell you right here. You got to watch that video because results might surprise you for that test. So do watch that video testing the obstacle avoidance, flying this drone at full speed into obstacles. And of course, now I have calibrated the vision positioning system. I posted a video of calibrating that vision positioning system. Do watch that. And now I will test the drone again by flying it full speed into an object and see after calibrating the vision positioning system if there is a difference or not. So very surprising results on that test. Do watch that video coming very soon on my channel. Thank you very much for watching this lengthy video. Give this a big thumb up, stay tuned, stay subscribed and have fun. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button, it's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button there come on don't be shy just hit it thank you very much for all your support towards my work that i post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you hit that like button